Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about scary arcade games. <laughs> First up is the original House of the Dead. Not a sophisticated arcade shooter, just kill zombies, right? Yeah, but don't go wasting all your ammo. If you do, you will quickly realize that accuracy and ammo conservation is one of the main goals here. So don't let out your inner Rambo if you want to survive. Precision is the name of the game. So work on those headshots and you just might make it out alive. So why is it scary? Well, the story is the classic Doctor Goes Nuts Say hello to my masterpiece! Experiments take a gruesome turn for the worse And now we have a zombie outbreak on our hands and it's our job to fix it. Well, there's a little more to it than that, but you get the point. If you like horror-themed games and you've never checked it out, you're in for a treat. Oh, and don't forget about the other games in the franchise, House of the Dead 2, 3, 4, and Scarlet Dawn, as well as a slew of spin-offs, and the new House of the Dead remake. Okay, moving on. Next up is Night Slashers by Data East. This is like Final Fight meets Walking Dead. You could say it's actually a bit more detailed than Final Fight. The plot, I think, is that the world has been overrun by monsters, hordes of zombies, werewolves, and other creatures, and the world is now quickly becoming unfit for humanity. Well, not unless you and your badass monster hunter friends stop the madness and kick some Rudy Poo monster asses. Well, something like that. I don't know, I never really paid attention to the story. Time to clean it up. So why is it scary? Well, I'm a wimp, so just the noises when you kill one of the enemies is enough to make me queasy. Question is, does that really surprise you though? Remember the time I played that VR horror game? If not, let me remind you. I swear to you guys, I'm so done. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down. Anyway, it's actually a decent game in my opinion and worth checking out. As far as I know, it was never ported to any console platform, so unless you can find it in the arcade, MAME is gonna be the best way to experience it. But I would try to look for the Japanese version of the game. It's uncensored. The blood is red and there's a cool little Easter egg on the go arrow. It actually flips over and says, to hell, and it's in blood. It's kind of cool. Next up is Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse is another horror-themed beat-em-up that was developed by Namco. The version I'm showing you is the arcade version, but it was ported to a lot of other platforms, so there's many ways for you to experience it. The plot on this one is kind of weird. There's this storm in town, and you and your girlfriend Jennifer need to seek cover. Apparently, the only place to take refuge is a local town mansion called the Splatterhouse. Sounds totally safe, by the way. <laughs> I don't think the Splatterhouse would have been my first pick, but that's the way this story goes. So this dude Rick, who you play in the game, and Jennifer go into the house. She goes missing, and you wake up with a hockey mask fused to your face. <laughs> I know, it, this, is really, this is really the story. You're forced to kill your mutated girlfriend, Jennifer, and then you're pissed off. So you kill everyone, and then you find out that the house is alive itself, so you gotta kill the house too. Honestly, I'm not even sure this is accurate, but it's how I understand it. The important thing to know is it's totally scary, and it's completely worthy of being on this list. Okay, the next game is Chiller. It's a shooting game by Exidy. And this one is interesting because it wasn't widely adopted by American arcade owners. And you're gonna see why in a minute. All right, so the basic premise is you see these helpless individuals who are all being restrained and it's your job to continue to torture them and the goal is to kill them. So the game is really about um, mutilation and death and murder. I mean, so you can see why this wouldn't be a popular title, but it definitely fits the scary horror genre type of a game. It was definitely uh, one of those things that ended up being a cult classic later on after it was out of arcades. You would have to try to find an arcade game to play this on or play it in MAME 
You could also play the NES version. It was a non-sanctioned by Nintendo version, but it is floating around out there, so I'm sure you could get that as well. The game continues to be more of the same mutilation, death, torture type of a thing. It's really an odd game, and honestly, keep your expectations low, but it might be worth checking out if you're into the horror genre. Okay, next up is Carnival. This is an on-rail shooter about sort of this haunted carnival sort of thing. I don't really know. I never really followed this story at all. I just kind of treated it like an, any on-rail shooter, but it definitely has the haunted theme down pretty good. And it's a good way, so of course the visuals are all gorgeous. And you can't really go wrong. If you like shooting zombies, it's a great game. So if you want to check this one out, you're kind of limited to how you can check it out. You're going to have to find a Carnival Arcade, or you can do like I'm doing and play it under emulation. So either way, it is available to you. It's just not like you can go and, you know, you have to find an arcade that has it if you want to play it. But it's definitely also has a very much a cult following, and I find it more interesting than games of like, like Area 51 of its time. This one is, it, it came out later, but it's more creative, the artwork's better, and so it definitely has, you know, more of a story to it. There's also some really cool and intense boss battles, so definitely a quarter muncher. All right, before we wrap this up, here are some honorable mentions you might want to check out if you're a fan of the horror genre. Zombie Revenge. Ghosts and Goblins. and Aliens Extermination. All right guys, that about wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this short list of scary arcade games. This isn't a definitive list. There's many more scary arcade games, and if you have a personal favorite, I'd love to hear from you, so put it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this. That's it for now, and we will see you on the next one.